years ago, I sat down and began thinking about what have I really learned in this business that I've been in for a long, long time. And, uh, and so I came up with 50 things that I've learned in 14,000 days in fundraising. Hello, my name is Jerry Smith, and I'm the CEO and president of the J.S. Smith Group. Let me just share a few of these things that I've learned with you uh, today. Number one, uh, there's not a shortage of money. There's a shortage of big, bold, exciting ideas. American Public last year gave away $410 billion to some uh, 1.4 million nonprofit organizations. There's money out there for you. Number two, uh, I've learned that the number one reason people give to nonprofit organizations is because they believe in the mission. They believe in the mission of the organization. And, you know, if you look at a list of 10 reasons why people give to nonprofit organizations, believing in the mission is number one, but number 10 is tax deductibility. People like to always say to me, you know, Jerry, uh, is it tax deductible? Uh, but that's not the reason people give. That may be the determining uh, factor for how much they give, but it's not the reason they give. Uh, I've also learned that volunteers would rather do anything than ask for money. Uh, anything than ask for money. That's why I have a 10-2 rule. I say if you recruit 10 volunteers and you get two out of those 10 to do what they say they're going to do, then, you know, hey, we're, we're way ahead here. Uh, the next point I want to say is that uh, the new, two most important phases in, in, uh, in fundraising today is please consider and thank you. When you're asking for money, please consider a gift and once they make any kind of commitment, uh, you say thank you. Uh, also, I've learned that boards focus on uh, the cost and not the end result. They focus on the cost, not the end result. And so think about that a little bit. It's about what it's going to cost them and they don't think about uh, the fact that, uh, you know, that it's going to cost money to raise money. Uh, when I was at Auburn, the cost of raising money was about 12 cents on the dollar. I, I saw a study the other day that said that over 60% of nonprofit organizations spend less than five cents per dollar raised. That's not enough. I've also learned that for every one dollar uh, that's given away by a foundation, there are hundred organizations out there trying to seek that one dollar. Very, very competitive, uh, and it's hard to raise money from foundations. Doesn't mean that you don't solicit foundations, but you go into it with a little different approach. I've also learned that generous people seldom have emotional and mental problems. By the way, I'm a very generous person, if uh, any of you need to know. I've also learned that, that, uh, that, that nothing takes the place of enthusiasm and passion. When you're making a request or you're talking to someone about a gift, nothing, nothing takes the place of passion and enthusiasm. And if you don't have either of those, fake it till you can get it. Also, I've learned that mistakes teach me more than, than my accomplishments. I tell development officers uh, on a daily basis, go out there and make mistakes because you'll learn from those mistakes. So I've given you just a few of the, uh, of the 50 things that I've learned, but you can go on our webpage and you can uh, read the entire uh, 50 points that, that I've made. I will leave you with one last point that seems to, uh, a lot of people uh, really ask me questions about this one, and that is, you can tell a lot about a person by the shoes and the watch they wear. I'll leave that one for you to think about. Have a great day.